Hey, this is Josh and welcome to your fitness testing. We have designed this fitness test to be broken into a few different routines so we can test a few areas of your fitness. Basically, we can see what you can do and what you can't do. Now, as I mentioned before, you can do all the routines today, all the fitness testing today, but don't. Just choose one and stick to it. If you do have any limitations or injuries, feel free to message myself, Facebook us, email our team, send a query through, and we can give you alternate exercises. Or look in the FAQs, and there will be alternate exercises there. Now, as I said before in the previous video, be honest with yourself. Give it 100%, you know, just give it your all. Because I know a few people, they say they can't run. I call some BS on that. <laughs> I know that 99% of able-bodied people can run. If there was a crazy beast chasing you down the road, guarantee you'll get up and run. But maybe you don't like running because it feels uncomfortable, you feel things jiggling, you've never really been a runner, it's hard, yes, that's fine. Let it be hard. This is your starting point to show you that, hey, this is hard, I need to improve. And then in four weeks time, we'll test it again. And four weeks after that, we'll test it again. It will be great knowing that, cool, you couldn't run 200 meters without basically wanting to give up. Then four weeks later, you could run 500. Four weeks after that, you can run a kilometer and a half. How awesome would that be if you can test yourself and show that you are improving? And that's what we want to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate all the routines, all the exercises, everything that you need to do for the fitness testing. So the first test that we want to do is a run. Fast run, jog, sprint, whatever, whatever it is, okay? So basically, I want you to get from point A to point B as fast as you can. The distance that we're going to be using is 1.5 kilometers or one mile. So depending on where you are in the world, if you use miles, clearly you're doing a one mile run. If you're in Australia, for example, and you use kilometers, we're gonna do a 1.5 kilometer run, walk, whatever it's going to be. <laughs> now, I'm guessing I don't have to demonstrate to any of you out there how to run or jog. I'm gonna take that as a given, but I do want to express my concern, if you are gonna go for a run, to just warm up before, okay? So a few quick static stretches that I like to do before I run, is the hip flexors. So leg down there, up like that, and really stretch out those hip flexors, okay? Hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. Obviously go to the other side as well. I like to put one leg over like that, and bend down to really stretch my calves and my hamstrings out, okay? Um, another one I like to do is legs apart like that, and I really wanna just tilt like that, like that, to really stretch the inside leg. Hold it for about 30 seconds as well, okay? And while I'm doing these stretches, hold it for 30 seconds, as I said. Now, before I get out there and run, or jog, or sprint, whatever I'm going to do, I want you guys to remember that you need to just give your muscles a reason to work. Don't just stretch and go as fast as you can. Just do some light jogging on the spot. Do some movements. Just get those legs up and running, get them working, get them knowing that you're about to go for a job, okay? Okay, so the next fitness test we're going to be doing, which should be on the day two, we're going to do a full body blast. Only 10 minutes, okay? Basically, what I wanna see is how many rounds you can do it. This is what we call a AMRAP, A-M-R-A-P, as many rounds as possible. So what we're going to have is 10 star jumps, 10 push-ups, 10 air squats, 10 swimmers, 10 high knees, 10 sit-ups. I'm gonna demonstrate each of them right now in the order that they appear and as the routine. So remember, before you start, set your watch up for a 10 minute timer or either set your phone for a countdown timer. I can't set my phone at the moment because it's recording me. So remember, start your timer and get into it, okay? So 10 star jumps. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Ten push-ups. Seven. You can do this on your knees if you need to, sir. So. Eight, nine, ten. Ten air squats, okay? So hands out, squat. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten swimmers or supermans. One, two, three, four, five. If you can't get your body fully up and you can't get your legs up, just do the up half. So like that. One, two, three. Can't get your legs, do your legs. Ten high knees. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten sit ups. You can put your legs out straight, you can have them bent, whatever you want to do. But make sure you do it at the same time every time. Make sure you breathe out. Breathe in. Out. I've lost count now. I think this is 10. That's one round. So complete and repeat. Complete, repeat, complete, repeat. Just do it all, okay? And count how many rounds as possible. If you forget how many rounds you're doing, guess what? Get a pen, mark it down, and you can then do it again. Okay, for this next exercise, I need you to use your imagination and imagine that this cone here and that cone there is 20 meters apart. Now you might be saying, well, Josh, I haven't got a 20 meter measuring tape or something like that. Let's mark 20 large steps, okay? So what we'll do, start from one end and go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Just do that. Mark 20 down and imagine, okay? So imagine these 20 meters apart, 20 large steps apart. What we're going to be doing is running as fast as we can from one cone to the next and jogging back. Fast as we can, then jogging back. Now we're only gonna do this 10 times, okay? I want you to time yourself to see what you can do, okay? But it's not really about the time anyway. It's about you continually, it's a, <laughs> it's about you continually doing this for 10 rounds, okay? Without giving up. So you might want to mark, cool, at round five was too hard, I gave up. Round eight was too hard, I gave up, okay? So, example, you're gonna get there and you're gonna go run, and then you're gonna jump back. and jog back. Get it? Okay, so the next one is a plank test. Basically, we wanna see how long you can plank for. So before we do the plank, I wanna basically get those abdominals working and they understand that they need to work. So I'm gonna show you a quick little warm up before you actually do it. So we're gonna do five, five second planks basically, okay? So, Stand from here and go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, five. You get the drift. Do it five times. Now flip over and just do 10 sit ups, okay? Straight legs this time because your body's going to be straight. So one, 
two, three, four, five. So we're working those abdominals. Now, since the plank is a full body exercise, I want you to work the butt, since the butt needs to be tense. Make a little box here, as you can see. And we're just gonna do some glute, um, glute kickbacks, but straight legs, okay? So, one, two, Three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. So that's your warm up, okay? Have a sip of water, give yourself a break for about 60 seconds, then go into the plank. Now remember with the plank, it's basically like a push up, but keeping everything straight, but you're on your elbows. The crucial thing that you need to do when planking is, is what I'm gonna show you right now, okay? So, I like to start on the floor. Like that, okay? And see my elbows are tucked in. They're not out here, because if I plank from here, it looks wrong, and that's gonna hurt my shoulders. So I bring my elbows in. I remember that I need to tense my stomach. I need to like, tense it. I need to tense that butt, and I need to tense my legs, okay? So from here, I'm gonna get up, tense the core, tense the butt, tense those legs. And as you can see, I should have a great form, posture, and looks good. So what you wanna do from here is hold it for as long as you can. Woo! Good 10 minute plank. <laughs> okay, now the next test is a squat test. Now since I can't see every single person squat, what I want you to do is understand how I squat and look at yourself in a mirror. If you can't see, there's a mirror just there. So what we find with a lot of people that squat is they do this. They either bend over too much and they think that's a squat, which it isn't. They either bend over with such an arched back like that which isn't a squat, okay? What we wanna do, we wanna have a straight back, but what we wanna do is make sure that we make enough room for our hips to get down there. So I'll quickly demonstrate. If my legs are really close together, for example, and it doesn't make way for my hips to go into the actual grooves, you'll find that I'm rounded. So even if I try my best to squat down with a straight back, as you can see, it's rounded, okay? I'm not going to work. So what we need to do is make way for our hips to get down there, okay? But what I like to do, so while I'm practicing, is to either put my hands behind my back like that, in a bit of a position like that, or on top of my head like that, to bring my shoulder blades back. Because if my shoulder blades are back, we're gonna be able to get down and have a bit of a straighter posture, okay? So, I like to start on the floor, okay? so I get to see the nice position for my hips. So I'll get down there like this, and be like, cool, that's, uh, that's pretty straight. I'll check in the mirror. That's pretty straight. And that's pretty, pretty good posture. So then I know that my legs need to be on that angle. Okay, so what I'll do, hands behind head, hands above that, and just go, one, two, and that's my form for my squat. What we're going to do is squat down, jump up. Squat down again, jump forward, okay? On that line. Now we're going to jump up twice. So one, two, and forward. And again, one, two, now three, and forward. And one more, again. So four, one, two, three, four, and forward. If I'm still on camera, you wanna go five, then forward, six, forward, seven, forward, eight, forward, nine, forward, and 10, forward. See when it starts to burn and you wanna give up. From just doing all those demonstrations, whew, I'm sweating already. Maybe because it's about 
30 degrees outside, that could be the reason, or it could be that it is tough. <laughs> now I want you guys and girls to give it your best. Give it 100%. Now I do know that a few times you will want to give up. Now if that is the case, don't fully commit to giving up, okay? Have a little rest, put a timer on for a minute, minute and a half, 90 seconds, have a sip of water, then go, and while you're doing that, just say to yourself, I can, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it. It's easy, I'll finish this, I'm gonna finish it. Psych yourself back into actually completing it, okay? Now good luck, and I'll speak to you guys all soon.